still have a long way to go. Asleep or not, hold on tight, Rackle. Get him onto my back. He'll be nice and warm there. Hey, how do I get him up there? Did that answer your question? Hold on tight now, and don't go scratching me with those sharp claws of yours. Never mind that. Let's just see if you can walk without shaking him off, you tub of lard. Chaka and Milan, you're on your way in! Go ahead, Winry! See you at the new palace! What are you talking about, Mosfus? What new palace? Oh, of course! You wouldn't know, would you? Milan the Wise foresaw your arrival with the new prince, and Lord Chaka had a new palace built to house the two of you. Your old lair has been taken over by a polar bear and his eight new cubs. Well, I guess I'm happy that he and his family will have a nice home, but nonetheless, I'll miss the old place. Huh? Huh? Fine. <laughs> Watch where you put your big fat feet. Sorry. Prince Rackle to the palace, Cordal. But he's still sleeping. You mustn't disturb him. Oh, we'll be able to move him so smoothly and gently he won't know a thing's happening. You can trust us. We've done it before. He's so terribly young. How can you be so sure? Because I've been with him since the day he was born. You were in the Ice Kingdom. That's all we know. Because you sent me there. I've been away from home for many long years, watching over the child who's sleeping oh. in that bed. But think, Cordal. What if he isn't the child of the Fifth Prophecy? Huh? You seem to forget that I rescued that child and brought him away from his country when all the united forces of evil were laying waste to it. 
Very laudable of you, I'm sure, but that does not constitute proof. What do you mean, that's no proof? Then why did Thanatos, Grievous, Terminius, and Barbarius all try to kill the lad? <laughs> it's all very well to keep an open mind about things, my Ellen, but yours is so open that a flock of pterodactyls could fly right through it on their annual migration. You're the one who predicted the birth of the child of the fifth prophecy. You're the one who sent me off for all those years of exile. <laughs> keep your voice down. You're weak in the land. I know this should be a day of joy and merriment. <laughs> but nonetheless, we should keep our voices down to a gentle whisper. The lad must be extremely fatigued by his long journey and needs to rest. Uh, let me take a look at him. It's our honored duty to protect the little prince, to educate him, and to take good care of him. But first we must establish beyond any doubt that he is indeed the child of the fifth prophecy. Uh, what are you talking about, my Two solid hours. Uh, this lunatic bird has been whining and bleating that Rackle might not be the right boy after all. In order to have the absolute certainty that this is indeed the child of the fifth prophecy, we must have a sign or a portent from the child himself. Well, that's why we had the child brought to us. A little bit of patience and I'm sure the sign will show itself in due time. Cordell, you've had an arduous journey. Why don't you rest? I will, but I'll sleep on the floor next to the little prince. I'll feel better knowing I'll be guarding him. By the way, your lair's been reconstructed down to the last detail here in the palace so we can all look after Rackle together. It was Myron's idea. Why does he delight in bringing me grief? Well, my master scholars, do you have any news for me? We have discovered several new elements, your majesty, but alas, we have no solution yet. That's what I was afraid you would say. Hmm. I assure you, we are sparing no effort. Interesting things, sire. But what do you mean? We've discovered a number of strange elements we don't really have an explanation for, sire. Well, speak up. Speak up, man. I want to know everything you've discovered. Everything. In a secret compartment in the library, we came across an old parchment that mentions a... <laughs> well, what is it? It was nothing, Your Majesty. As I was saying, we came across this parchment that confirms that a prince will come from afar to break the spell. Yes, go on. But what we find perplexing is that according to the text, it will be a child and not a grown-up. A child, you say? Hmm. So I must assume that the destinies of my daughter and my kingdom are in the hands of a child. <clears throat> Your Majesty, if I may... Apparently, the prince has extraordinary powers. The documents speak of him as the child of the fifth prophecy. But unfortunately, we know nothing whatever about the nature of this fifth prophecy. That is the plain, unvarnished truth, sire. 
Then I command you to continue your search in the library, perusing all the ancient manuscripts and codices. It shall be done, sir. Come on, we have to tell Pishmirian about this. Let's go. Hold on a minute. Important, Your Majesty, just a cat chasing after a mouse. A cat? How very strange. There's never been one in the castle before, nor do we have mice or rats. Well, be that as it may, gentlemen, I expect the utmost diligence from each and every one of you in helping to find a solution for this problem that is afflicting us. Of course, Your Majesty. Maya! Yes, Prince Perry! It was Maya transforming into a cat! There's no doubt about it! Oh, that witch, she's as clever as she is wicked! Sir Sean Braveheart! Use all your famous skill and guile to find Maya! I'll do my best. I know you will, and your best is very good indeed, Sir Sean. Please, leave post haste. Your wish is my command, Your Highness. Your courage and quick wittedness are legendary, Sir Sean, but I do not want you to take untoward risks. I merely want you to find out where the witch is and what she's up to. Of course, Your Highness. I'll depart at once. seems to begin here.
run quickly, or the library will be burned to the ground! Cordell, where are we? What is this country? We're in my country, the Forgotten Lands, and this is a new palace built especially for you. The Forgotten Lands? Does that mean I'll never see my parents again? No, of course not. We'll go back. Nobody said that you'll never see your own country again. <laughs> when? I'm afraid we'll have to stay here for a while. It's the only place where we can protect you against the forces of evil. <laughs> Did I surprise you, Rackle? <laughs> Welcome to the Forgotten Lands. Who are you? My name is Chaka. <laughs> huh? Oh, you're really great looking. <laughs> I never saw anyone as great looking as you in my life. <laughs> oh? <laughs> Nice to meet you, Chaka. Can we be friends? <laughs> I think we already are. Ah, oh, well, the two of you seem to be getting along famously. My name is Mylin, <laughs> and we're going to learn lots of things together. Mylin? That's a funny name. <laughs> oh, so I'm great looking, huh? Nobody ever said that. I really like my new friends, Cordal. Can we go out and take a look around? Certainly. Just as soon as we can tear Chaka away from his reflection in the mirror. I never realized what it was like to be the handsomest guy on the planet. Who said that? Uh, young Rackle. Words to that effect. <laughs> hmm? huh? I'm sorry if Mylan's a little jealous, but no one could call him good looking. <laughs> huh? Well, you've either got it or you have it, is what I say. Now the time has come to take the little prince out and show him something of his new home. It'll be the start of his education. such a great time in my whole life. Thank you, thank you, my friends. I'll be going now. I'll be back whenever you want me. That'll be fine. Just wait for my signal. seen such an incredible place. Hi! <laughs> good morning. A oh, very nice fine day. good morning to you. <laughs> good morning to you, my friends. Why does everyone around here have such great respect for our friend Chaka? Everybody loves him, Rackle. He's the lord of the Forgotten Land. You mean Chaka's the king of this country? Why didn't anybody tell me? He's not really a king, not the same thing at all. But everyone obeys and admires him. 
Taking his pupils out on a field trip to see how things are growing. Yes, Rackle, you'll find to begin with there'll be lots of things <laughs> that'll puzzle you. You're telling me? It's like being on another planet. Wait till tomorrow. It's your first day of school. <sighs> well, I'm really looking forward to it, Mylan. Ha, 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 ha.